Alright, looking here at the Unit 2 Study Guide, Unit 2 over Matter. Make sure you have your name, date, and class period on here. Number 1 says, what is the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular box like a fish tank? And the correct answer should be length times width times height. Number 2, name two things that are not matter. And the correct answer should have been light and sound. Number three says, what are mass and weight, and how are they different? And the correct answer should have been mass is the amount of matter in an object. Weight is the gravitational force on an object. They are different because mass will always stay the same, and weight varies depending on the gravitational force. So if you were to go to the moon, your mass would remain constant, would remain the same, and your weight would only be one-sixth of what you weigh here on Earth because you have one-sixth of the gravitational force. Number four, how would you find the volume of an irregularly shaped solid, and what is the process called? You would, could drop it in a graduated cylinder and uh, see how far the water goes up. The process is called water displacement. Number five, how would you find the density of an object? What is the formula? It says make sure you're familiar with pages 80 and 81. The correct answer, density equals mass divided by volume. That is the formula. And you would find the object's mass, find the object's volume, and then divide mass by volume. Number six, how do particles move in solids, liquids, and gases? In solids, the particles are close together and they vibrate in place. They're locked together and just vibrate in place. In liquids, uh, they move a little bit more. They can slide past each other. And in gases, they move freely. Number seven, solids have a definite volume and shape. Liquids have a definite volume but can change shape. And gases can change in volume and shape. Number eight, one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter, CM3. Number nine, the opposite of freezing is melting. The opposite of sublimation is deposition. And the opposite of evaporation is condensation. Number 10, what happens to mass when state changes? And the correct answer is nothing. It stays the same. It remains constant. And number 11, what is the density of water? The correct answer should have been one gram per milliliter or one gram per cubic centimeter. Either will work. Make sure you know the definitions to the following vocabulary terms. Be sure to read the fine print. You see the words matter, mass, weight, volume, density, solid, liquid, gas, freezing, melting, evaporation, whoa, lost my page, boiling, condensation, sublimation, and deposition. Okay, now onto this part of the study guide. Number one says the illustration below shows a rectangular solid. You see the sides, uh, we have six centimeters by 10 centimeters by five centimeters, and asks what is the volume of this solid? The correct answer should have been D, 300 cubic centimeters. Number two, how can the particles in a liquid best be described? And the correct answer should have been B, the particles are close together and slide past each other. Number three, it says Amanda dropped a rock into a graduated cylinder containing water. The water level in the cylinder increased. Which property of the rock is this experiment designed to measure? The correct answer should have been B, volume. Number four, the diagram below shows how the temperature of water changes as the water changes states. Question asked, between which points does water boil? If you look at the graph carefully, you will see that water boils, if you know that it boils at 100 degrees Celsius, you see that it boils between points 3 and 4, so that should have been letter C. Number 5 
says the diagram below shows a Venn diagram to compare the properties of solids, liquids, and gases. It asks, what property is in position 1? I see up here that position 1 is a solid only, so I ask myself, what property is that only of a solid? And the correct answer should have been B, because solids are the only part, of, are the only proper, the only ones with a definite shape. Number six says a student melts 60 grams of ice in a sealed metal container that can withstand high pressure. She then heats the liquid water until all of it boils. She made this table to use in recording her results. Notice it has the state, solid, liquid, and gas. Over here is the mass in grams. It says from top to bottom, which set of data most likely belongs in her table? And I have to think to myself that I know that no matter what state of matter it is in, the mass never changes. So the correct answer should have been A, 60, 60, and 60. Number seven says the diagram below shows the water cycle on Earth. In step two, water vapor condenses into water droplets to form clouds. It says how does the mass of the water vapor compare to the mass of the water droplet it forms? Once again, you should know the mass stays the same, so the correct answer should have been letter C. The mass of the water vapor equals the mass of the droplets. Question number eight says Minnie mixes crushed ice into a glass of cold water. She puts the glass onto the kitchen counter. Then she measures the temperature of the ice water. What should she expect to happen to the temperature of the ice and water mixture? The correct answer should be letter A. It will stay at zero degrees Celsius until all of the ice melts. Number nine, how is density calculated? The correct answer, if I think to the formula, the correct answer is A, mass divided by volume. Number ten, which of the following statements describe the state of matter known as gas? The correct answer, letter B. Gas is the state of matter that has no definite shape or volume. Number 11 says a child is upset because his ice cream is melting. He thinks he now has less ice cream. Which choice explains what is wrong with his reasoning? The correct answer is D. No mass is lost during a change of state, such as melting. Number 12, Ying is testing the properties of the states of matter. She plans to test how the volume of a liquid changes by first filling a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder with water and then pouring the water into a 100 milliliter beaker. What volume will she observe in the beaker? The correct answer should be, once again, B. It will be about 50 milliliters because liquids have a constant volume. Number 13. Dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. At room temperature, it changes directly into a gas. Which of the following best describes this change? The correct answer should be C. Sublimation occurs due to an increase in the kinetic energy of the particles. It goes directly from a solid to a gas, so it would be sublimation. Number 14. Cassandra is creating a model to show atoms of solid bromine, liquid bromine, and gaseous bromine. How should her three models differ? The correct answer should be B. The motion of the atoms should vary depending on the state. That is the only thing that will be different, it will be the motion of the atoms. The identity of them will stay the same, the mass will stay the same, the size will stay the same, only the motion will vary. Number 15. Uh, Jasmine finds the mass of a beaker of water. Then she boils the water for 30 seconds and finds the mass of the beaker of water again. The mass of the beaker of water is less than it was before boiling. What caused the change of mass of the beaker of water? The correct answer, some of the water was lost due to evaporation as the water was boiling. Some of it was converted to water vapor and lost to, in the gas form. The second part is mass conserved during the change of state that Jasmine observed. Explain your answer. Yes, mass is conserved because the mass will stay the same. If you totaled up all the mass of the water that is boiling and the gas that escaped, it would be the same mass as what she started with. Number 16. 
A class wants to use marbles in a clear shoebox with a lid to model the particles in a solid, a liquid, and a gas. Describe the motion of particles in each state of matter. In a gas, the particles should move freely. They will collide with one another and change directions when they collide. In a liquid, the particles will slide past each other, and in a solid, they will be locked in place and will just vibrate in place. It says describe how you would model the motion of the particles in each state. For solids, I would fill the entire bottom of the shoebox lid with marbles and just shake them and let them vibrate in place. For liquids, I would take out a few of them so they can slide past one another and shake them. And then I would only leave about four or five in there for the gases and shake to let them move freely. Number 17. Lucille partially filled a graduated cylinder with water. She then dropped a rock into the water. The illustration below shows what happened to the level of the water inside the graduated cylinder. Notice it started at 35 milliliters. It went up to 40 milliliters. So what is the volume of the rock? The correct answer should have been letter A, 5 milliliters. Number 18. The diagram shows the same substance in three states of matter. You can see beaker 1, beaker 2, beaker 3. Assume the substance in container 3 forms directly from the substance in container 2. What process occurred? Why are few, fewer particles in container 3 than are in container 2? The correct answer should have been letter B. Sublimation causes gas particles to escape to an, an open container. From 2 to 3, solid to a gas, so it would be sublimation. Number 19. Thelma and Louise are organizing the information they learned about solids, liquids, and gases. They made a Venn diagram. Now they need to fill it in. What should Thelma and Louise write where all the states overlap at position 7? Right here in the middle. The correct answer should have been letter A. Particles are constantly moving. Number 20. Which changes of state result in a decrease of the kinetic energy of the particles? So that if it's a decrease of kinetic energy, remember kinetic energy is the energy of motion. So if it's decreased, that means the particles would be slowing down and not moving as much. And it looks like that would be letter A, deposition, freezing, condensation. Number 21 says the diagram below shows the water cycle on Earth. In step 1, water evaporates. Step 1. What are the properties of this product of step 1? And if it's evaporating, it's changing from a liquid to a gas. So the properties would be D, changing shape and changing volume. Number 22 asks, in what states of matter are part particles able to move around one another? And they can move around one another in letter C, gases and liquids only. Number 23, the density of aluminum is 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the volume of a piece of aluminum if its mass is 8.1 grams? The correct answer, if you take, if you find the volume, you take the mass divided by the density, and if you take 8.1 divided by 2.7, you will get C, 3 cubic centimeters. Number 24, the density of a sample of gasoline is 0.7 or 70 hundredths grams per cubic centimeter. What is the mass of one liter of this gasoline? To find the mass, you will take the density times the volume, so 0 0.70 times 1. The correct answer would be letter A, 0.7 grams. That concludes our study guide. Wish you the best of luck. Please study hard. Make sure you know all of your terms, know all of your definitions. Um, be sure to know the states of matter changes. Good luck and study hard.